Super Genius Live in Austin, Texas. I'm here with a bunch of other radio personalities from across the country to help pick the cover girl for the Wild Turkey American Honey calendar. We welcome now to the show one of two girls from Pittsburgh who will be in the calendar, the lovely and talented Lindy. Lindy, where are you from in Pittsburgh and uh, what do you do? I actually live in the North Hills of Pittsburgh and I work at an education corporation downtown and I model part time. Oh, so you're one of the models. You're a ringer. Yeah, I'm a ringer. <laughs> How many of the girls are models? How many are not? I'm not sure. I think it's a good um, half and half, I'd say. Do you think it gives you an edge? Did you know what to do when you pose, maybe, a little bit more? Yeah, I can definitely say it helps you out a little bit, but um, I think all the girls did great. Now, we have the picture for the calendar in front of us here. You were posing in front of a car that you were washing, almost yes. like Tawny Katane in the White Snake video style. <laughs> And you are wearing a bikini top and short shorts. Now, I've noticed you're wearing less in your picture than the other girls. Right, Was right. that planned? Um, I actually Was had... that your call? Are you like an exhibitionist? <laughs> no, that wasn't my call. That was their call. They must have thought it was, you know, appropriate for me, I guess. Do you like the picture? Do you think it turned out well? Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Now, what's it like between you and the other girls here? Because you're competing for the cover. Right. You're put in a competitive situation. Are the girls... Caddy, or are they all friends? No, everyone seems to be really nice. Everyone's, you know, not. it's competitive, but it's not caddy competitive. All the girls are so sweet, and everything's going so smoothly. I think I think everybody's, you know, everyone's great. Now, are the girls rooming together? No, everyone's separately. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you girls get together after hours for, like, pillow talk, stuff oh, like yeah. that? Oh, yeah, pillow fights, all that fun pillow stuff. Pillow fights? <laughs> no, just any, 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 no, no pillow fights? <laughs> no. Anything better than pillow fights? No, sorry. Uh. <laughs> Now, obviously, you're a Pittsburgh girl. Originally from Pittsburgh or no? Yes, yes. Now, so you must have some thoughts on the various sports teams in Pittsburgh. Who's your oh, favorite yeah. sports team? Out of Pittsburgh? Yes. Uh, I have to say the Steelers. Is there anybody you like more than the Steelers from outside of Pittsburgh? No. Okay, no. so Steelers are number one. Steelers are number Who's one. Who's your favorite Steeler? Um, I would have to say I like James Harrison. James Harrison? Yeah, I like him. The domestic abuser? No, I like him. He's a nice guy. I met him in person. He's really sweet. Well, meet him. Don't date him. That would be my, my, my advice to I you for sure. Who else do you like? What other Steelers? Um, I like Heinz Ward. Oh, <laughs> you're killing me here. Who else? Um, I'm not going to say Ben because you'll probably yell at me. And that's the one. I like Ben. How do you like Ben? I like, I like ben. ben too. I was just kidding. Have you ever met Ben? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, well. He's turned over a new leaf. Maybe it's hopefully. Maybe, maybe it's easier to beat him now, so hopefully. to speak. Now, what about the Penguins and Pirates? Any interest there? Um, yeah, I, I went to a bunch of Penguin games this fall, and the Pirates—they're doing awesome. Minus what happened at last night's game. Oh, did you see that? I did see that. What a disaster! Horrible! I can't believe that. Now, uh, you've talked about your favorite athletes. If you had to, right. pick, now you have a boyfriend too. I do. We've got to throw that out there. Okay. But if you could pick any athlete to date, who would it be? Oh. Oh, my. We've already warned you about James Harris. Athletes, I heard athletes aren't great daters. They're not the best. I've never dated any, yeah, incredibly. <laughs> hockey um, player's a little safer, I think. Yeah, hockey, I guess. Who's your favorite hockey player? I'd have to say Sidney Crosby. Now, I think Sid's good looking, because we get, like, kind he of a... He is. He's cute. Know, he has a little baby face. He's a big ass, though. Is he? Oh, it's huge. Oh, if he, I, I if he and J-Lo it. had kids, but they would take over the world. <laughs> Come on, now. So, uh, now, now, uh... What's left in the week here at, uh, for the American Honey well, calendar thing? This is actually our last night in Austin, so we're going to go to dinner. You know, I think it's going to be a good night just to, you know, say bye to everybody and take things in. So You've enjoyed it, obviously. Oh, I loved it. It was such a good experience. Is it everything you thought it would be? It is. What did it you, what did you it's expect actually, going in? It's more than I thought. I really? Thought, yeah. Every, everybody was so wonderful, and, you know, we had a great opportunity. We got to see all of Austin, eat at 100 different places, so it was great. Now, uh... We're staying at a place called the Driscoll Hotel here in yes, Austin, the and they say it's haunted. It is. Have you seen any evidence of it being haunted? We have saw so much evidence. Go ahead, tell me. Well, there's a couple photos that you can see faces in. We went to all the haunted rooms. You can just feel a vibe. A couple of the girls actually heard laughter, and all the, they said they felt like they got touched. So I didn't feel anything, but a well, couple girls said that. But if they felt like they got touched, that could have been one of the radio personalities stalking uh, them. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lindy, thank you so much for joining us, thank and uh, congratulations. Like I said, just an unbelievable photo here. Yeah, I'm thank holding you. it up for the radio audience to see, <laughs> even though that's utterly impossible. Thanks to Lindy. We'll have Rachel also for Pittsburgh a little bit later. I'm Mark Madden, live in Austin, 105.9 The X.